went to pray that what was Hello, this is Pastor Esau Banda. Welcome again to the broadcast. What a great week once again God has given us. And I have no doubt that indeed your life will never be the same. In the precious, awesome name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty, awesome name of Jesus, I give you thanks and praise because of who you are. You are such a great God and I thank you for this brand new week that you've given us, I pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to be manifested in strange dimensions, even as we get into your word. I pray, mighty God, for the healing of the sick and the deliverance of the oppressed, and this to the glory of your precious name. Thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Friends, we thank God for this beautiful week that he's given us. And uh, I have come with Rema, the spoken word of God. I've come with a revelation that I'd like to share with you this week. And I have no doubt that indeed your life will never be the same. Uh, we are reading from the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and uh, verses 20 to 21. Proverbs 18 verses 20 to 21. The Bible says, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof i want to talk about the power of words or the power of what we say uh, many people don't really understand the fact that what we say matters in life what you say is very, very, very important. The words that you produce out of your mouth, they are really, really key. Because what you say sets the pace for the direction of your life. And that is the truth. Unfortunately, many people don't know this. Many people have not come to appreciate this truth. And that is why they are destroyed. In Hosea chapter 4 and verse number 6, the Bible says, my people are destroyed, not because the devil is powerful. He says, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. If you don't know, you are bound to be destroyed. And the Lord forbid. And uh, this passage of scripture is giving us an important principle. He's talking about the tongue. He's talking about the things that we say. He's talking about how we ought to use our mouths. Because in verse number 21, the Bible says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. That means what you say matters in life. Now, I want to give you some important principles here about what you say. Number one, uh, what you say determines what you see. What you say determines what you see. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 3, the Bible says, and God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good. The reason why he saw it is because he said it. That means what you say is what sets the pace for what is going to be manifested in your life. That is why I want you to be very, very careful with what you say. Because what you say is what you are going to see. When God spoke light into manifestation, light came. When you look at the history of creation in Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 31, you see that whatever God spoke, the same manifested. And in, in Mark chapter 11 and verse number 23, again, Jesus talks about what we say. He says, if you say to this mountain, be removed, but you shall believe that what you say will happen. He says, you shall have whatsoever you say. That is the will of God. And that is the second principle. The first one, remember, what you say is what you see. The second principle is that you are going to have whatsoever you say. That is Mark chapter 11 and verse number 23. The Bible says you are going to have what you say. That means if you want something in life or if you want to have something in life, say it. It therefore means that if you close your mouth, you have closed your destiny. That's what it means. To shut your mouth, not to say anything, 
is to register for silence. Nothing is going to happen in your favor. And therefore, your mouth is not just for eating. Your mouth is an instrument of victory. You can use your mouth to get what you want. That is what we see in this verse of scripture, Proverbs 18 and verse number 21. The Bible says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. That means, depending on how you use your tongue, depending on the things you say, you can register yourself for death or you can register yourself for life. But I know you don't want death, you want life. You want success, you want prosperity, you want increase, you want multiplication. Now, if you want these things, then be careful how you use your mouth. Use your mouth to get what you are looking for. Are you looking for promotion? Begin to announce promotion. Begin to proclaim promotion. Are you looking for healing in your body? Proclaim it, declare it, and as you declare it, you are going to see it. That is what we see happening to God. When he spoke into manifestation, the things that he wanted in Genesis chapter 1, whatever God had in his mind, he wanted the sun, he spoke it into manifestation. He wanted the moon, the stars. He wanted the water to be gathered in specific places. He spoke it and it happened. That means you can also get what you are looking for by just speaking. But the Bible shows us in Mark 11, verse number 23, that you must say it in faith. It says, if any man says to this mountain, be removed and be thrown into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that what he says will happen, he shall have whatsoever he says. That means you must say it in faith. You must say it believing. I receive my healing. Say it believing. I receive my promotion, say it believing. I receive my marriage partner, say it believing. I receive my scholarship, say it believing. Whatever you are looking for, just amass enough faith and begin to proclaim it in faith. Announce it, declare it, employ your mouth to get what you are looking for. Speak what you are looking for and it shall be done to you. That is what the Bible tells us in Job 22 and verse number 28. It says, you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. That means God says, when you speak it, I shall make it happen. In Numbers 14 and verse 28, it's the same thing. He says, the thing that I have heard these people say in my ears, the same I shall do for them. What is it that you want God to do for you this week? Proclaim it in his hearing. Let him hear it. Declare it. I want success. Success is my portion. Prosperity is my portion. Breakthroughs are my portion. In the name of Jesus, I receive my healing. I receive my deliverance. That should be your talk. That should be your language this week. And I have no doubt that indeed, my friend, as you apply this important principle, your life will never be the same. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks and praise for the opportunity you gave me once again to speak forth your word concerning the power of what we say. Lord, this was a short word, but it is a powerful truth. And I pray that it is going to bear fruits in the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus, give them the grace to speak only that which is in line with your word. And I pray, mighty God, that your grace is going to prove sufficient in their lives. Cause them to blossom in life. Let them succeed. Let them prosper. Let them multiply on every side. Cause them, O oh Father, to break through, to break through in career, to break through in marriage, to break through in their professions. And this to the glory of your precious name. You are such an amazing God. In Jesus, Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Friends, God bless you.